The live action Borderlands movie just dropped its very first trailer, and from the looks of it, it looks like an absolute monster mash of humor and action, which is very similar to the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And overall, this looks like a really fun movie. I mean, this is an adaptation of the video game franchise Borderlands. So there's already a lot of promise and a large fan base rooting and waiting for this movie. But look, this film has been in production since 2015, and it was supposed to be released in 2021, but no, it got delayed to 2024 for some pretty disappointing reasons that may be an indication that this movie is doomed. But let's start with the things that gave this movie hope. So right off the bat, the cast of this movie is more stacked than a deck of cards. Like Borderlands has Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Ariana Greenblatt, and also somehow got Kate Blanchett, who's largely considered one of the best actors of this generation. But on top of that, the studio behind this movie is Lionsgate, who are the same guys who made the Hunger Games movies and the Saw movies. And the director is Eli Roth, who recently made a very good horror film called Thanksgiving. So everything is going smoothly, they got their cast, they filmed the whole movie during COVID, released this little teaser picture, and were ready to release this movie in 2021. But no, not everything can be perfect. Things just have to go wrong because the studio is not getting what they wanted. And as a result of seeing some of this film's imperfections, Lionsgate wanted to do two weeks worth of reshoots for part of the movie literally two years after finishing the movie. And on top of that, Eli Roth, the man who originally directed this movie, was not going to direct the reshoots. And instead, Tim Miller, who's the guy who made Deadpool 1 and Terminator Dark Fate, he was going to come in and reshoot instead of the original director. Now look, reshoots are nothing new, and Roth did give his blessings to Miller when it comes to directing the reshoots. But if there's anything we can learn from the 2016 Justice League movie and filming reshoots with a different director, this process is not exactly a recipe for success and is considered a big red flag in the industry. But personally, what I think is the biggest concern is the reconstruction of the script because obviously they rewrote the script for the reshoots. However, they needed a whopping 10 writers to rewrite the scenes, which is a terrible indicator for a movie's success because it means that the film has no direction and everyone is confused as to what they want to do. So to recap, they finished filming in 2021, but they decided to do two weeks of reshoots two years after filming was done, got a new director to do the reshoots, and had 10 writers to rewrite the script and spent so much more money on the movie as a result of the delays. All of which are bad signs that a movie may fail critically and be a box office bomb. But in all honesty, if this movie is bad, it's because of the studio. Because they should not be tinkering with a movie for this long with the hopes of making it perfect for audiences. I mean, look at how much tinkering Sony had to do to create Madam Web, and look how none of it paid off. But hey, we could all be wrong, and all this speculation could be for nothing and this ends up being a fun and fantastic film. But for a movie that has been in production for 9 years, that will be very hard to believe. But yeah, thanks for watching.